Ali Baba and Aladdin's Secret Outside, the moon was shining. One more hour to go, and then he could give his shift over to the sun. The museum was quiet. No visitors. The only people were the guards during their night shift. They too were looking forward to go home and rest. It was at that moment, when dawn was approaching with a colorful presence, that a small whisper could be heard. Psst! Psst! Ali Baba? Hi, Aladdin. What's up? Ali Baba, I had a strange dream. I need to share it with you. What a coincidence. I had a strange dream too. What did you dream? I dreamt you have become your mother, Mary Louise McLuckin, and I have become Mariah Longworth. Oh, Ali Baba, there's so much resemblance. I knew it, but I saw it in my dream, all being explained. Okay, Aladdin, come down and tell me what you saw. I don't remember what I saw, like all the dreams which fade away as soon as you wake up. But now I know why you look the way you look and why I look the way I look. Aladdin, what do you mean? Look, both of our mothers were great artists and great people. They were fantastic contributors to society and the art world. But they were so different in personality. Louise was mostly calm and minding her own business, and Mariah was a go-go girl of her times. Okay. I know during the time when we were created, almost 140 years ago, everything from the Orient, Middle East, and Far East was popular. Japanese and Chinese motifs were used by our artists. Look at your beautiful Japanese appearance covered in sage green, decorated with lovely red Chinese hibiscus flowers. Oh, Ali Baba, when I look at you, I feel calm and peaceful, so sophisticated. I see Louise McLaughlin's spirit in you. Aladdin, you're right. You too have motives found in Japanese folklore, such as the dragon and the two catfish, the fish the rulers of the ocean, and the dragon, the fighter and conqueror of the high mountains. Unlike me, you are full of energy shown in vibrant colors and waves, lots of motion. You have the signs of power. Aha! Uh -huh, exactly like Mariah. Is that coincidence? Ali Baba, now you know why I was so excited and wanted to share with you my dream. I can't wait to hear about yours. I dreamt of Sherzad, the Persian queen. She told the king every night a story. I will tell you some other time why she did it. But she too was a smart woman, a hero. And those stories became a book called 1001 Nights, also known as the Arabian Nights. I dreamt Sherzad has come to the museum reciting her stories. Yours and mine were both in there. I mean yours and mine because of our names. Her first story was about Ali Baba, the woodcutter. One day when he was up a hill cutting a tree, he heard some noise. That got his attention. He saw a group of people down the hill saying something and then entering a cave. A cave he had never noticed before because it was closed. But with a secret password, it opened up. Those men were the 40 thieves of Baghdad who kept the treasures in that cave. They also had huge pots, so huge that a man could hide in them. Yes, I was created large. And when Louise's friend saw me, she said to Louise, Oh my goodness! This vase is as big as an Alibaba vase. It is said that this is the reason why it was called Alibaba. It was also the time when the stories of 1001 Nights were very popular. Alibaba was able to figure out what the secret word was. Open sesame. Now think, what if, indirectly, without being aware of it, 
I was given the name because Luis had discovered the secret of how to do underglaze decoration. A secret known to the Chinese for hundreds of years. The French learned it in the 19th century, but it remained a secret. Luis was smart. She figured it out. The first ceramist in the United States to do so. Now think. What did Alibaba and Luis find? Hmm, a secret. Exactly. And then, when Mariah saw me, as it was her nature, she had not to fall behind. She had to be a step ahead. She too got her hands on the secret and produced you. You are not as tall as I am, but wider and therefore far more difficult to produce. She named you after one of the stories of the same book. What a beautiful combination! Our mothers were American. We look for Eastern, but have Middle Eastern names, and are admired by all. Now let me tell you about Aladdin. He was a poor man who happened to find something too. He got hold of a lamp, a magic lamp. When this old lamp was rubbed, a genie would appear and would do anything his master wanted him to do. Now think again. Mariah was smart and had wealth and connections. She almost could do anything her heart wished. Her power was her genie. At that moment, they heard a tap, tap, tap. It was a guard who was making his last round, coming towards the gallery. Both vases kept quiet with a smile. They were created by two competitors. They looked different, but were best friends. If they were not in two different cases, they would have given each other a high five.